This is one of those days as a divorce attorney when you feel like you've heard it all, then all of a sudden your job just got a little bit crazier. If you are married or want to be married in the future, I need you to pull up a seat, listen up, and pull your hair back so you can hear me clearly. Now that I have your attention, please do not end up like one of those people who don't know a thing about the finances in their marriage. And yes, I am speaking to both men and women. I have had female clients who didn't have a clue about the finances in their marriage. I've had male clients who would come home, give their wife their entire paycheck. The wife would give him an allowance and he didn't know what else she did with the money. But I want to talk about what specifically just happened today with one of my clients. I'm representing a wife in this divorce, cute, sweet little old lady. She's been married for decades and they just don't get along anymore. Now their children are grown at this point. They are grandparents. So at least I know that we don't have to worry about custody and child support at this point. We just need to divide the marital assets. Now the husband runs and operates the family cleaners and my client has been a stay at home wife the entire marriage. So when my client has been married for a good length of time, I usually have them do what's called an inventory and appraisement, which is a very extensive document that helps you track and gather all of what you've accumulated during the marriage. I sent it over to my client and I told her I would give her a few weeks to do it. It is that extensive. And y'all, she was still having a rough time. She didn't know where the documents was, where any of the deeds are. She didn't know any of the account numbers because her husband handled it all. So I started to help my client. And so I'm helping her figure out all the community assets that they've accumulated. When did you buy this house? Okay, so when did you sell it? And when you sold it, what did you buy next? So in the midst of that conversation, I decided to look up the property of their previous marital home, the home that they lived in majority of their marriage, the home that they raised their children in, the home that they sold to downsides after their children left the nest. And lo and behold, they still own that house. And I asked my client, like, I thought you guys sold it. She was like, we did sell it. We sold it and we bought this house. And I was like, uh, no, you didn't. But y'all, I get to digging in what I found. Not only have they been owning this property the entire time, this property has mineral rights. There is oil and gas underneath this land. A major oil and gas company has essentially been paying them rent for years. And they have pipes and pumps all underneath their house and several of their neighbors to get the oil. They are multi-millionaires millionaires y'all essentially what he's been doing is taking the income that he's receiving from the oil and gas and he's been invested it very well my client thinks they are a middle class family running their family cleaners they share a vehicle according to my client let him tell it he probably has a jet and a yacht y'all i had to tell my client today that she is a millionaire this old sweet lady almost had a heart attack in my office let this be a lesson to you. You don't have to be hands-on, but please be knowledgeable about the finances in your marriage. What I do know is that you have to be very deceitful to be able to hide that from your spouse for that long. I'm willing to bet there's more secrets to be found, and I'm going to find it. Now, I have to go. It's obvious that I have a very important phone call to make to my private investigator. See you next time.